Welcome back YouTube, I have Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews and in today's video I'm gonna do a speed test between Apple's AirDrop, Samsung's Quick Share, and Google's Nearby Share. Those are the native features to transfer data between different phones so it's worth checking which one of them is faster. I will use the 12 Pro Max and the 11 Pro Max to test AirDrop and the S21 Ultra and the S10 Plus to test Quick Share and Nearby Share. So let's see how each one will perform but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. First things first, all phones are on the latest software available at the time of filming this video. The 12 Pro Max and the 11 Pro Max are on iOS 14.4.2 the S21 Ultra and the S10 Plus are on the latest March 2021 update. I will be using the same 1GB zip file in all rounds. Let's start with Quick Share. The file is downloaded on my internal storage in the download folder, so let's start the test. Quickshare took 31 seconds in total to transfer a 1GB zip file. The actual transfer started after 7 seconds from tapping on the accept button. I tried to transfer the same file behind the scenes many times and it took the exact same time to start the transfer. Now let's move on to Nearby Share. Nearby Share uses 3 different methods to transfer files. I will try all of them. And the first one is data. As per the description, it uses this option to transfer small files. However, I will transfer a 1GB file, so I think it will ignore my choice, but it's worth trying. Both phones have SIM cards, they are on the same cellular network, and not connected to any Wi-Fi. So let's start the transfer. Nearby Share using the data option took 18 seconds to transfer the same file using the same hardware, which is 13 seconds faster than Quick Share. Now let's try with the Wi Fi option. And both phones are not connected to any Wi Fi network. By the way, I deleted any saved Wi Fi network from both devices to make sure my home Wi Fi will not be used. Now let's start the test. And with the Wi-Fi option, Nearby Share took 19 seconds, which is still faster than Quick Share by 12 seconds. And finally, let's try the without internet option. And I'm still not connected to any Wi-Fi network, so let's move on. Again, Nearby Share took 19 seconds, which is the same as the Wi Fi only option, and that makes Nearby Share a lot faster than Quick Share. Now let's compare both with AirDrop. AirDrop doesn't have any special settings, it always uses a peer to peer Wi Fi connection to transfer data, so let's start the test. AirDrop took 18 seconds, which is exactly the same as the first round of Nearby Share. So now let's sum up everything. Quick Share was the slowest at 31 seconds and it used 7 seconds to initiate the transfer. Nearby Share took an average of 18.5 seconds, which is almost the same as AirDrop. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my speed test between Quick Share, Nearby Share, and AirDrop. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. 
So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.